Welcome to CBS News Primetime. I'm John Dickerson. The voting starts in the first caucus state. I'm still trying to decide which candidate I like the best out of the ones that we have. I'm, I'm struggling with that a little bit. Republican voters begin the presidential nominating contest in the bitter cold of Iowa. It's very cold everywhere else, too. America in the deep freeze. And 100 days into the Israel-Hamas war, a new strike in the region against a U.S.-owned ship. Hello, and thank you for joining us. We begin our report in Iowa, where in one hour, Republican voters will caucus for their choice for the next nominee for president of the United States. In negative degree temperatures, thousands of Iowans ventured out to schoolhouses, community centers, and fire stations to stand behind their preferred candidate. Donald Trump has dominated the race and by all polling and expert analysis is likely to have a strong night. A stunning turn of events three years after the state's venerable seven-term senator Chuck Grassley said Trump could no longer lead the party after his actions that led to the attack on the Capitol of January 6th. The cliche goes that a candidate needs not to win Iowa, but just get a ticket out of the state for future contests. There's one ticket with Donald Trump's name on it. And for the other candidates, there are four left. The question to be answered tonight is whether there are any more tickets. Here's what some of them had to say today. We can't continue to be a country in disarray with the world on fire. And we can't do that with four more years of chaos. And yes, we need a president who can serve two terms, uh, not just the lame duck president. Uh, but it's really beyond just that. We have a team out in Des Moines, Iowa, including our chief Washington correspondent, Major Garrett, chief White House and political correspondent, Ed O'Keefe, and campaign reporter, Olivia Rinaldi. Ed and Major, you both have been on the campaign trail for a while. You've seen a few of these over the years. So what strikes you about this one? Ed, you go first. You sure? Yes, indeed, All right. please. Well, so this is my fifth. Mm -hmm. And John, I think the biggest takeaway for me after spending